This is our COVID Roundup and CDC update for January 26th, 2024. And we have some tentatively good news. Our percentage change in new hospital admissions for COVID is down, and then our uh, percent change in deaths compared to the previous week is also down, where hospitalizations decreased by 14% and COVID deaths decreased by 7.5%. So after nine weeks of straight increases, we are at two weeks of decreases in COVID hospitalizations. Where the decrease in deaths is very good news because this is the first week that we've had a decline in the past 25 weeks. From our travel monitoring program, JN1 is making up about 85% of our COVID imports. However, the very odd thing is that the CDC hasn't updated the new JN1 variants. There's many subvariants now of JN1. We have JN 1.4, JN 1.1, JN 1.8.1, JN 1.2, and JN 1.7. That's five new subvariants of JN 1. Now, in terms of the percentage change in new hospital admissions due to the prior week, as a reminder, anything that is orange is increasing levels of COVID. Anything that is yellow is holding stable. This could be stable at high levels or low levels. You have to look to the previous weeks to know. And anything that is teal or green is decreasing levels of COVID. And what's very nice is that we see decreases all across the country. However, there's a big asterisk here. As Michael Olson has uh, noted a significant drop in reporting, as have other individuals, where even despite this drop in reporting, St. Louis is either at the second highest or highest number of COVID admissions. And first-line responders are reporting a huge lack of supply of PCR tests which is how you get the COVID diagnosis to begin with. And if you're not diagnosing because of lack of tests, then you're not reporting COVID hospital admissions. So this very much might not be the case, despite the widespread reporting and the decrease in COVID hospital admissions. Moving on to New York State, they've lowered from 97% at the highest level to 94% at the highest level for reporting wastewater facilities. And as a reminder, anything that's dark blue is low levels of COVID, anything that is light blue is moderate, and anything from yellow to bright red is high levels of COVID. But again, there's uh, no reporting in some sites that have predominantly been at very high levels of COVID, so we would expect these numbers to be higher. For California wastewater scan data, they seem to be holding at pretty high levels of COVID across the 58 reporting wastewater facilities. And Santa Clara County is uh, showing some recent drops in COVID wastewater levels. However, something really weird is happening. So this data is on Tuesday. And then they updated this again on Friday, which is today. Um, but the data didn't change. The data is only reporting to January 21st, which is Sunday, which is last week. So they don't have any data in this reporting period, which is weird. Because despite technically being a facility that reports every single day, during the weekdays, they technically reported no data this week. And since this is through a Stanford scan program, which is a subset of wastewater scan, I decided to look at wastewater scan data, where I noticed that the majority of the facilities are um, uh, about a week behind in reporting. But when I was uh, overlaying all the wastewater sites, the 194 wastewater sites in wastewater scan, I noticed something very interesting. And that was that wastewater scan shows that we're in the largest COVID wave of the pandemic right now, where here it is even clearer.